So right now I have started the application with generative components. That's why I can see the node types, graph and everything. So from the workflow dialog. So this is called workflow from where we can switch between the workflows. So right now the workflow that you are seeing, this is a open willings designer workflow. So we'd be going to the uh, computational design workflow. So once we go to the computational design workflow, you can see in the ribbon it says home, uh, view, model, help. Uh, help would be the help documents and everything. So we would be mostly working between the home and the model. So once we open up the generative component session, you can see that we have got two extra items that we haven't seen in the first time. So that is this node type and the graph and also the computational design workflow. The computational design workflow has been prompted just because we have used the generative components icon to launch this one. So once it came in, so we can see the node type. So in the node type, there are three options that are present for us. We are using Open Buildings Designer. That's why we can see a node palette type that is called Open Buildings Designer. So if we see the geometry section, the geometry section helps us to create different geometries in the design model. So in here we have line, we have arc, we have beast line curves. We can create surfaces, we have circles, we have also polygons, points, the most necessary one, and also coordinate that will help us to create all the geometry and everything. So the geometry section helped us to create the geometries. In Open Buildings Designer section, you would be seeing the tools that are related to Open Buildings Designer. That means creation of duct doors. With the duct, we need auto fitting, so we have auto fitting preferences. Then we see floors, plan, structural members, walls, windows, all these items. And to manipulate with all these items, we have the utility tab. In the utility tab, we will be mostly using the slider node, the value node, and the operation node. Also, if we want to use the Excel, so if we want to use the bidirectional functionality between an Excel and generative components, we would be using the Excel range dialog to use that function over to here. So once we start the file, so we can see node type and in the middle we can see that it says v1 isometric design model so anything we would be creating that would be visible in the design model now next to that is the graph where we would be placing all the node types in the graph and that would be helping us to create the elements into the design model now once we have understood about the middle portion now if we go to the top so the first option in the ribbon it says file so clicking on the file, it will take us to the backstage where we would have different options, tools, and uh, utilities, different data set tools, and all these items. And so this is backstage functionality from where import, export, all these uh, options were present. Now, after that, there is home button. In the home button, uh, we see an attributes dialog. This attribute dialog is coming from the metro station. So what it helps us, it helps us to work with the elements and everything. So right now, let's say the color has been specified as green. Now. If I create a line into the design model, the color of that line would be green. So this is at the active level. So that's how we have line style. We have different line weights, transparency, and all these items. Next to that is the GC attributes. These GC attributes we would be using more when we're moving forward. And we would be using these GC attributes more when, when with the right-click option over to a node. In the moving forward, I will show you how we can use that. So now the next one is the primary options. So the primary ones, these are the options that we would be using more. So the updated model. So the name says that it would update the entire GC model. So anytime, let's say I have performed some operation, I've created some geometries using generative components. Now I have to update the model. We would be using the update model tab. Now next to that, we can see there it says graph. So this is the graph window. Let's say when we have opened generative component for the first time and I'm not seeing the graph panel, so I can just click on here and it will open up the graph window. So let's say if I close this dialog, so now I do not have any graphs in here. I can just click over to here and the graph would pop up into my session back again. And uh, that's the same way. It says the node type. So this is the node type that we are using. If again, if the node type is not present, we can click over to here and we can bring that node type back in again. The next option is transaction. So once we click on the transaction, you'd see this is a transaction tab. Now we would be understanding what the transaction usually does in the next step. So first we are just understanding what are these items are. 
in the primary, there are other options that is called generated node types that will help us to create our custom nodes with the generative components with this uh, session only. Now there are this control panels. This control panel will come up if we use different kind of sliders and as such. Now the construction plane, once we will have a base coordinate system, once we have a coordinate system, the construction plane will help us which plane we would set it as in primary. The element selection will help us to create the elements. Now, the next up is the place geometry option. It is more like uh, instead of going to the node panel uh, or node types, we can just create our geometries directly from here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.